This is Cindy Abbott Leitro for Behind the Camera, and our guest uh, in in this segment is someone who's been behind the camera, in front of the camera, and done just about every aspect of show business. Uh, Kimber Eastwood is with her, and her name is uh, Giveaway. She is the eldest child of Clint Eastwood. Uh, sort of started out as an actress, but decided that perhaps you like doing other things behind the camera. I did. I. Uh, when I was 19, I started taking acting classes, and I did little parts here and there. Um, but as uh, I was a single mom, and I raised my son, and it was just after he kind of grew up and graduated high school, it was like, oh, I just can't, I can't take it anymore. You know, it was it was fun. There were fun parts to it, but it's also very um, hard on the ego. You know, so. Um, so you sort of took control, and you are a producer director, do a number of things. Uh, we talked to Greg Robbins about your current project here, and it's called Diary of a Lunatic. Tell yes. me a little bit about that. Uh, it, well, it's uh, loosely based on a true story, and uh, the gal, uh, ta God talks to her, and she talks back, and they have a, you know, a relationship. And a but you, you sort of moved into this house, so we're in a house. If you came in here, it seems as if a lunatic is actually living here because there's, there's you know, actors, but then there are an equal number of people behind the scenes, probably double the number behind the scenes that are doing things. And it, it must be crazy because is this would be classified as what, a small or a mid-sized production that, that you're this doing? This is a small production, but there is a lot. I don't, people don't realize how much goes in behind the scenes and how many people it takes to run a crew, you know, everywhere from from lighting and camera to makeup and hair and uh, it, um, sets and everything going on behind you. It, you know, everything has to be just right and perfect and it takes a lot of people to just do that. It's just not going in and making a film. It's And what you're film. making, though, is a trailer. And a trailer is? Just a portion of it that we can um, take to investors so they can see what, what the story is loosely based off of and then what um, what we can do. You know. In driving here, I was talking with uh, Tim from the Film Commission. He said, you won't believe it, there are like three films being shot in Buffalo today and you know, trying to coordinate all of those. And it seems as if business has really picked up in this area. How have you found it here in Western New York? Because I, I, this is not your first trip here. No. Uh, well, we love Western New York, and the tax incentive that New York gives you, you know, to make your film, to use the crew for post-production is just so incredible and generous. Uh, and then when you have Buffalo in the mix with Niagara Falls and all the beauty and all the, the, the beautiful um, architecture downtown Buffalo, I mean, God, you could just get so many great shots you know you're downtown in this historic beautiful little town and then you go out and you're out here and, and you're out in the in the country you are that's yeah, great absolutely we love it when you made the decision to go behind the camera i mean you know i imagine that your father probably gave you advice along the way whether it was you know going into it as an actor or as a producer as a director He's been successful in all those different ways. Has he given you any advice about what you should or shouldn't do? Mm, not really. Well, as an actor, he gave me some advice, mm -hmm. but uh, not really a lot of advice. But then again, I don't ask because this, for me, is me. I just want to do it on my own. Tell yeah. me about how you got into doing makeup. Because for me, I think that would be fascinating. Because, of course, either you want somebody to look really good or really bad, depending on the character. But it is an art. It is. And I was always very artistic. But I kind of forgot that you know, as I was studying acting. And then uh, I kind of got to the point where I was like, you know, I don't want to have to keep a headshot and my hair the same way. I don't want to. I just don't want to keep pursuing and just pursuing and taking acting classes, you know, and so um, I just one day was like, well, you know what, I really want to stay in my industry, so how about makeup? I've always <laughs> been artistic, and I literally was in a makeup class, enrolled. I went online, and I looked at them um, in L.A., and I literally was in a class in a, within a month. 
Is it a good profession for people to go into? Oh, it's great. Mm -hmm. It's great. You know, and then you get to see your work on camera. Okay. You know, and you work with a lot of great people. I mean, I, I, you work long hours, but I love working on a film set. There's nothing like working on a film set. Well, one of the things I thought was pretty exciting when I read your bio is that you are the, the makeup artist on Wheel of Fortune. And um, you've been, how long have you been doing that? I've been with them for 11 years. Wow. But I've also worked a variety of other shows, you know, Dog the Bounty Hunter for five years, Parenthood, um, Bold and Beautiful, Young and Restless, all those just kind of came up through the ranks and, and it's, it's a lot of fun. It's not easy to get into because in Los Angeles it's kind of a who you know, you know, to try to get your foot in the door, but it is just really, I love well, it. Well, and I was surprised about it. I said, well, how can you do that, do Wheel of Fortune and then be here making a movie? And what's the schedule? Four days a month with Wheel of Fortune. Oh, so that's <laughs> yeah. not so bad. No, not so bad at all. And then we usually take a hiatus from April till July. So that's when we can come out here when the weather is perfect, uh -huh. you know, and come and make a film here. And I don't have to worry about booking myself out because I really do love my job on Wheel of Fortune. It really is. You know, um, I work a lot with the contestants. I've worked with Pat. I've worked with Vanna. And they're all, everybody in that show is just fabulous. I, I really can't go, I can't say enough about them, really. Well, it is great to have you in Western, here in Western New York. And we like to hear good things about this place. So we thank yes. you and we wish you the best of luck on, on your current project. And we hope we'll see it in an area film, uh, you know, in, in our area movie houses at some point. Oh, I do too. Thank you for having me. Thank you.